Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, Facebook land, whatever internet, internet land you're in. Okay, um, yesterday I, I made a video review of the do, new Paul McCartney album, Egypt Station. Okay, and the first time I was a, uh, made a video in a long time, the camera's been, you know, in storage and I broke it out and made a video and it was such fun I thought I'd make another one. And I'm posting um, this video to my uh, Facebook music page, which is uh, w what I want to communicate to uh, my subscribers to that page. And if you want to go there and listen to, that's fine. Um, doing the uh, review on the new McCartney album was such fun that I thought I'd find something else to do a, 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 a video on. So I've Woke up this morning, went to Spotify to listen to some newly released music, and remember this name if you haven't heard of them, Greta Van Fleet. Okay, um, they've released their debut album. Uh, it's called From the Fires in 2007, and they're a young band out of I don't know what city. I'm still learning about them, their names and everything. Um, and they've been compared to uh, Led Zeppelin. I, I prefer to think of them as being reference to the hardcore rock music of the 1970s. You know, the good old, you know, stadium rock, dope smoking music from, from that era. Okay, um, you know, they certainly bring that back, that old vibe and. They're doing that kind of music through the prism of Led Zeppelin. I, I, that's a better way to put it. Okay, I know the lead vocalist does sound like Robert Plant, and the uh, guitar licks are very Zeppelin-ish, but they project a whole rock music from that era. The you know the Aerosmith, the Bad Company, um, you, you know the the um, Zeppelin. Um, that, that whole um, era, okay, you know, straightforward, no whole bars, rock and roll, Aerosmith. Um, so, From the Fires uh, was released in 2007 and got a, a big buzz on it, uh, you know, publicity. And it contains only eight songs, but it, they're all very good. Uh, and they nailed, they literally nailed that sound, that error, the sound of that error down perfect. I mean, if you if you told me, hey, listen to this band that never made it in the '70s, and you played them, I would have believed you. Uh, they got it down to a T. Um, one one song I like off the uh, from the Fires is uh, "Flower Power" because it's it's a more acoustic bass too. So I like the fact that they can venture out you know beyond the uh, guitar the hard rock guitars and, and I mean they play rock like nah, nah, you know and then the drums come you know that and this is very live I mean I'm sure they record in studio and that's a bit processed but I, I think it's re just recorded live actual musicians playing like the old school days, uh, writing songs, lyrics, and all that. It's just not uh, uh, drum machines, and so, you know, give them credit. They, uh, re they're recording, or they have recorded a new album. It should be out later this year or early next year, but they've released two tracks that are great. Uh, they're called Watching and when the curtain falls, and I listened to these this morning, and got all revved up. I would love to play samples, but I'm afraid that I would be uh, uh, tagged by YouTube copyright infringements and all that. Hey, you get the lawyers involved. Um, so I just say, hey, go and listen to these tracks yourself and um, crank up the volume, you know. Um, this is nothing inventive or new. It's an old school sound, but 
in exploring and bringing new sounds in, sometimes you just have to go back to the old sounds and move forward again to reinvent it. Okay, um, there's a, a, a school of, of, of thought of music and bands and artists who are doing that. And um, Greta Van Fleet is one of them. Uh, I know you, some of you have heard of them before. And um, for those who haven't, really check out their music. It's available on uh, Spotify and I guess uh, other sh uh, streaming services. Okay, that's it. I just want to give a, sh a shout out and make another video. A shout out to Greta Van Fleet. And uh, if these two tracks sound, uh, if the, their upcoming album sounds good as these two tracks, it'll be a dynamite follow up. Okay? Um, your comments are welcome. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.